Are you, no. s- are you seeing areas, are you seeing as a whole um, the percentage increase in home values? Is it more, less, or the same as it was over the first three and a half months of last year? So, so far this year, it's more. Home values have gone up faster than they went up at the same time last year. Now, again, last week, week and a half, we're hearing a lot of talk about this, but we are not yet seeing it reflected on contracts. My guess is by the time we get to June or July, there's a good chance when we look back at April and May, we will see that the rate of price increases might you know, uh, pull back to some of more similar to last year, which by the way, was the craziest we'd ever seen, right? So we're not talking about home price appreciation dipping to flat. That's, we're not even in, anywhere near there. But last year we saw home values go up 21 or 22% on the year. Right. And it didn't happen perfectly evenly, right? There were some pockets where it was going up like two or 3% per month. Well, that's exactly what was happening pretty much the entire first quarter after about the second week of the year through pretty much right now, at least it may continue. We've seen uh, a consistent run of the most extreme home price appreciation we've ever seen pretty much since we came out of the quote unquote holiday season in the second or third week of January. So that has not changed yet, but we are hearing from buyers and hearing from sellers that sellers are a little bit more likely to say, I think I'm going to get my house on the market before this run is over. And buyers are saying, man, if rates keep going up, I am going to buy right now. And if that population of people gets the job done in the next month or two, then that's where we might see the population of buyers shrink a bit, where the folks that were motivated by higher rates have done what they want to do. And then we're left with a more traditional group of buyers and buyer demand. Now, that's all guessing. That's just literally trying to get a feel for the market and guessing. I'm not extraordinarily confident that that's what's going to happen, but that's what a lot of other people are predicting. And there is some logic to that. So if you're a seller, you don't want to wait and then put your house on the market when buyers are less confident and less willing to compete and able to afford less due to higher interest rates. So I'm not here to scare anyone into selling, but there is reason to believe you might be more motivated to hurry up and get your house on the market right now than just a few months ago when rates were different and the, and the sentiment and the confidence in buyers uh, was a little bit more optimistic. 